What's going on, everybody? My name is Andrew, and welcome to Shadow of the Colossus. I'm very excited to be playing this. I've been wanting to play this game for a very long time uh, for an LP, and uh, don't worry, Final Fantasy X is not going anywhere. Uh, this is going to be something that I upload two times a week, and Final Fantasy is going to go down to uh, three times a week. And um, I don't know if I'm going to go back to full-time Final Fantasy after uh, I finish this game, but anyway... Uh, let's just get started. We're going to do a new game, and we're going to do it on hard mode this time around, because I want the challenge. But, uh, allow me to educate you guys a little bit on this game. Uh, it, uh well, at least with my experience, anyway. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I love this game from the bottom of my heart. I have a huge passion for it. It's uh, just one of those games that I grew up with as a, as a child. Um, really got to witness this game or, or experience what it is was uh, when my brother had borrowed it from a friend of his. Um, I believe his name was Montana. And he played it on the PlayStation 2. Back when this game was on the PlayStation 2. And it looked phenomenal at the time. And I never played it myself. But like I said, I would always watch my brother play it instead. And I always thought, man, I want to play this game someday. But I was always too scared. Because, like, I didn't think I was going to play it very well at all. And then, what do you know? I end up uh, playing the game on my own one day. I, I beat the whole thing in one sitting. And I, uh, I fell in love with it ever since. And I've played this game... Dozens of times, probably, at this point. I, uh, like I said, I played it on the PlayStation 2 originally, like back... PlayStation 2 originally, like back in 2007, I think. I think the game came out in 2005, but I played it for the first time in, like, 2007. Um, and then I got the HD remaster as a Christmas present for my brother in 2011. And I also played the living crap out of that. And that was quite an improvement as it turns out. Also, this soundtrack is amazing. It sounds so good uh, now that they've redone it <clears throat> with a little bit better audio technology and better microphones and stuff like that. It's, it's a pretty phenomenal uh, remaster of the music. But um, like I said, I played this game in 2011, I think is when I played it. And I just fell in love with it. I thought it was visually um, incredible. You know, the, the remaster just having really fantastic. Um, and then this thing shows up. This is the PS4 remake of this game. And it looks so good. This is without question most beautiful remaster of any game I've ever played. And what you're seeing right now is in-game cutscenes, and it looks like a movie. It looks real. Like, it, it, it almost looks like this is pre-rendered. This is this is uh, all in-game engine work right here. And it, it just looks incredible. The one thing I maybe dislike about this game is Wonder's face. Like, he does look a lot younger in this game. But they've made him a lot more expressive as well. Now, I am also playing this game on the regular PS4, but I've seen a and this game 
looks incredible in 60 frames per second. But even in 30 FPS, this game still looks good. So what you guys are going to be watching will also be in 30 FPS just because there's no point trying to render it in 60 when I don't have 60 frames per second. But I mean, look at him. He looks so much better in this game. あいわ、ウキライコ。ウジスヤズウ、ツドコ。ワジノルデキオウティリラ。あいわ、オンフィス。アウユリ、ユアイズ。ドルミ、キュート。イズキュンク。イドゥセオロドユイエリコ。イト
And just like that, we have some control. So, now we get to finally play. Now I am playing with the new controls, and it's a little bit different, but it's not so unmanageable. I, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the, um, the way that you control the horse, but otherwise I actually think the new control scheme makes a whole lot more sense than the old one ever did. And that makes this game a lot easier, honestly. At least in because before the the controls, you had to like hold down three different buttons to accomplish anything. So it was a uh, it was certainly a little bit of a different game before, simply because of the way that you controlled aggro. Now these trees right here, they're kind of cool. They have a bunch of fruit on them that'll increase your stamina. But I'm just gonna go. Ooh, shoot! <laughs> I'm just gonna go with. Um, what I currently am gonna have after each fight. Your stamina will increase just a tiny, tiny bit in between each fight, but um, not by enough to really make a considerable difference. And I'm playing on hard mode, so I kinda do want this to be a harder experience. And here's our first uh, cutscene. Well, important cutscene to the bosses, anyway. It's, uh, like I said, it's it's kind of difficult for me to really commentate over some of this simply because, like, it's it's just like, it's kind of a movie, you know? It's it's one of those games that's just so gorgeous, and the atmosphere is so kind of surreal that it's hard to talk about it. And with this game in particular, I am, I am still in awe of this remaster. It's... It really, truly is, like, one of the, the most gorgeous games I've ever played up to this point. So, I'm excited to play through the entirety of it again. I've only played through the entirety of... Shoot. Uh, the entirety of this particular remaster uh, twice. Uh, no, I'm sorry, three times. I beat the game kind of casually on my own. On my own. Over the course of, like, three different sessions, I think. I broke it up into, like, five Colossus, another five, and then, like, the last six or so. And then the other two times... Here he is, by the way. <laughs> the other two times were um, speedruns, when I was trying to kind of figure out how to play the game really quickly. But I've discovered that speedrunning this game makes it a little bit less enjoyable for me, so... I just prefer to play the game the way that I currently am, which is just casually trying to enjoy it. Now, this Colossus is definitely a little bit more of a challenge than you would expect for our first one, but the good news is it's pretty easy to uh, get the hang of things from here. So this, so this one doesn't give you a super clear-cut way that you're supposed to do it, but you just need to strike this back leg here twice, and he will drop. Oh, crap. Of course, it would help if you didn't screw it up. Let's try that again. That should allow me to get on to him. Now, oh, I don't know why I didn't show the cutscene the first time. That's kind of weird, but... Hey, he fell. Now, what makes the uh, hard mode hard is that... Well, we're on his ass. Um, what makes hard mode hard isn't just, like, the lack of HP. Um, HP and stamina. Although there are... There is a distinct lack of HP and stamina. Um, it's usually that each Colossus now has more than... More weak spots than they normally, than they normally would have in the normal version. Um, and they also do more damage if they are able to attack you, which isn't super frequently necessarily, but they are able to do some damage to you. This first one, 
he's not very difficult at all. Because he's kind of meant to be the tutorial, so... He has a weak spot on his head. Convenient. Of course, you do way less damage in hard mode, too, so... Even, like, really fully charged stabs aren't going to do a whole lot for you. But we're slowly chunking away at him. Now, normally, on normal mode, uh, this is the only weak spot he has. But... Considering this is hard mode, they can't make it that easy. And, uh, they added a second one. Now, you probably already saw it as we were going up, but it's right there on his arm. Um... There's... I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe just jump and grab... Yeah, look at that. I even managed to land on it in a way that it'll work. Uh, the other thing about the Colossus in this game is that sometimes they'll move in ways that kind of make it really, really difficult to hit their weak points. Uh, the 15th Colossus is one of those because he has a weak point hidden away in the palm of his hand, which makes it really difficult to kill him, but we should have him on this hit. Hey, there we go. So I haven't entirely decided if I'm going to keep all these episodes to one Colossus or not. With this Colossus, um, since we had the introduction cutscene, I am going to keep it to one just because it'll round it off at ooh, 20 minutes or so. And of course... We get to witness the death spaghetti. There we go. <laughs> now this looks way different than it originally did. Before it was just kind of like there's like a shining light in the darkness. Now we're like going through like a warp tube. It looks like we're going into space. Like... It's definitely kind of freaky looking out, honestly. And there's the first of the shadows. And so that's how the shadows get destroyed, one colossus at a time. Well, that, I, sorry, I just had to kind of take that in for a second, but just like everything about this little area, it's, it's just crazy. I love how there's like that kind of smoke, like that cloud in the background where that little fountain is. Now, if I recall, I can't remember if we do this or not yet, but I think that if we pray in front of him, I actually can't remember how we pray. There's a way that you're able to do this, where it'll let you kneel in front of the, in front of front of the, in front of the statues, and it'll let you uh, fight them again. Although, right now, that does not appear to be the case, which is fine. But anyway, 
Uh, in the next episode of Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus, we're going to take on Bad Boy number two, which, if I recall, is this one right here. Kind of crazy looking fella, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play 